Welcome back to Third Tier, everyone. My name is Aiden, and I've got a question for you. How many of you knife guys, if given the opportunity, would want to pick up a reliable, strong, lightweight, wonderfully ergonomic, versatile, well-constructed, and overall amazing knife? Obviously, the answer to that question would be yes, but then you have to factor in the price point. How much are you willing to pay for a knife uh, that, that brings all that to the table? Usually, for value like that, you're going to probably be paying over $50, maybe around 100 and then if you're really, really looking for high quality stuff, you're going to definitely pay over 100 up into the, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, which is very expensive for a lot of people, including myself. I don't have the money. I'm saving up for college. I, I can't pay for, you know, <laughs> most anything at that price point, especially when it comes to things like knives. And really the people who are going to be spending that much money on knives um, already are into collecting and, you know, they already have a solid foundation. But if you just need a knife that's going to be reliable, work for you, and it's just a great knife, I'd highly recommend the Spyderco Tenacious. And a lot of people shy away from Spyderco, they don't really consider them because for the most part, Spydergos can be pretty pricey. But I guarantee you, with this knife, the Spyderco Tenacious, uh, you get such a great value. It's, it's almost unbelievable how good of a value this is. On par, or actually exceeding the standard that the uh, Ontario Rat 1 set as well. It's another great value knife. This one, in my opinion, though, is uh, better. A better deal. So, for all those points that I listed, this knife will bring you all of that for literally only 30 bucks. $30 on Amazon right now. I'm looking at it. You might be able to get a better deal. Um, I have Amazon Prime, so shipping really isn't a, isn't a worry for me. Uh, free two-day shipping with Amazon Prime, but um, these knives certainly are well worth that $35, which is affordable in my opinion. Um, this is a 3 and 3 eighths inch long blade, so it's capable and legal to carry in most every state. Uh, it's got the Spyderco opening hole, which is very versatile and offers a lot of opening uh, variations, like there's the traditional open with your thumb, put it back. It's hard to flip up, fit these open right behind the camera. Uh, middle finger flick, thumb flick, and there's a few other, but those are, those are the most uh, widely used ones. Um, as you can see, my, my blade has been custom finished by Zavman91. It's awesome. He also put an edge on it. As you can see, it's a mirror edge. Um, for $35 with this knife, you're going to get 8CR13 MOV steel, which is a Chinese steel. And a lot of people, you know, because it's Chinese steel, they, they will uh, think it's bad. But this knife, especially with the full flat grind you see here, it's ground all the way from the top to the bottom, is such a good cutting edge. This thing is a great slicer. It's got a acute point for... Uh, Precision work and or uh, stab, I don't like to say stabbing because that just makes me think of like a real violent motion, but it's got a good uh, penetration with the tip and a nice gradual belly all the way through and there's a semi-straight edge here, although it's a little bit upswept. Overall, the, the blade design is fantastic in my opinion. Um, it, it's a very good EDC knife, only weighs in at 4 ounces, so it's not going to... Uh, way down your pocket a lot. It's got these awesome G10 liners, or not liners, but uh, G10 handle scales, as you can see. G10 is a is a great handle scale material. It's not super. It's got kind of a medium traction or a light traction. It's not too grippy, but I've never had any problem with it staying in my hand while I'm using it, and that is in part to the great ergonomics of this knife. Just look how it fits in my hand. Uh, um, it, you can just wrap your, your whole hand around it, it fits really comfortably. 
Uh, there's a little bit left out here. I don't have small hands. I probably have medium sized hands. They're not like huge, but I'm not like really tall or anything. So um, it fits really well. Just the whole handle design fits in. Your thumb naturally rests right here on this really great jimping. It's strong. It'll catch your thumb. You can really ramp it up there. There's no blade play at all with the Spyderco Tenacious. Up or down, side to side, even though it is a liner lock. Look at that lock. Let's try to get it to focus here. <laughs> this camera is so uh, slow to focus. Let's try this. Stainless steel uh, hardware in the scales. Anyway, if I move a little farther away, you can see that the, the lock is um, not too far forward. Um, it locks well. Super smooth. It's got a uh, phosphor bronze bushings and um, stainless steel pocket clip. Nice pocket clip. It retains well and it looks good like the spider hole pocket clips. It's got a regular, eh, it's not an oversized lanyard hole but it's um, it has a steel insert which makes it like a single piece so it's easy to uh, thread things through probably if you can't manage to fit regular 550 with the nylon inside or the cotton inside which I think you probably can I don't know I don't have a reason to put a lanyard on here but um, it'll definitely accept gutted 550 cord and the design is flow through which means it's open really easy to clean really easy to take apart and maintain uh, I mean I don't know what else to say although I I highly recommend this knife for thirty dollars like you really can't go wrong I'll compare this with the Ontario Rat 1 this is the Ontario Rat 1 it's another knife that's really known for a, a great value um, with this you get OS 8 steel as you can see this is a worker knife this knife's only about twenty dollars and I'm not reviewing it on this uh, session but this is a twenty twenty five dollar knife and I think that for the extra five or ten dollars you can manage um, I would definitely recommend one of these. It's just awesome. I really, uh, really enjoy this knife. It's highly recommended for a regular EDC knife. It'll last you a long time. These things are really well built and not too expensive, and they're just so good looking. Messed up on that. Let's try it again. There we go. Just look at it. Love the thumb hole. It's easy to manipulate with gloves on. Uh, I'll show that in another video when I go over the opening techniques of the Spyderco more uh, in depth. And uh, that's really all I have to say. If you can manage to get yourself a hold of one of these Spyderco Tenacious knives, and if you don't already have one, I would highly recommend it. Um, best knife, in my opinion, for uh, a bargain price, which is $35 or $30. Um, great job, Spyderco. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I've given you a good tip there with the Spyderco Tenacious. Uh, as always, leave a like if you like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions, or if you just want to say hi or a great video. You don't have to say that. But anyway, subscribe if you want to see more. Got more reviews coming, including the Rat 1, another great knife. Uh, flashlights, gear, um, a couple more knives, and uh, that's it, guys, for this review. It's been third tier.